All right, welcome back to another HackerRank video. Uh, in this video, we're just going to be practicing our for loops in order to, to build uh, a staircase using symbols and spaces. So the way that we build a staircase is if they give us a request, we, I want uh, to build a staircase with four steps. The way we do that is for the first step, we wanna print out three spaces and one number sign. For the second step, two spaces, two number signs. That's the third step. And for the last step, they'll all be symbols with, with no spaces. So in this case, the symbol is this hash sign and, and this underscore I'm using here is to represent the space. So to solve this problem, we wanna keep track of two important variables. One of them is gonna be the number of spaces to print for each line. And then the other one is gonna be the number of symbols to print for each line. So for example, for this step right here, it consists of three spaces and one symbol. And we'll go ahead and fill out the rest. Here with four spaces and, uh, oh, sorry, zero spaces and four symbols. So the way we wanna tackle this is again with a for loop. And we learned in the previous video that if we do something like for int i equals zero, i less than n, i plus plus, whatever's in here, whatever code is in here will run for n times. So that's, let's just double check here. We'll print out i and I'll hit run code. And what we should see is zero all the way up to five. So in total, it runs six times. And our i counter in there goes from zero all the way up to five for an n equals six. But you can see here that this zero, one, two, three, four, five is actually very similar to something else that we already need to keep track of, which is num symbols. Now num symbols has a couple of differences. We start out at one instead of zero. You wanna go right up to n equals four here. Instead of here uh, with i, when we hit six, we go right up to five. So the way that we can change that is instead of using this i, let's just keep track of our num symbols from the very beginning. So we wanna start off with one symbol, and then we want to go right up until n. We don't wanna fall short of n, we wanna go right up until n, so we go less than or equal to n, and every iteration we want to increase the num symbols by one. Okay, so now we should have, uh, for this n equals six example, we should print out one to six, perfect. Now let's look at our other variable here, which is num spaces. And you can see they, they sort of have a relationship here, right? So num spaces plus num symbols is always equal to n. So we have this relationship here where uh, num spaces plus num symbols is always equal to n. So zero plus four is four, three plus one is four, da da da. So from here, uh, let's do a little bit of algebra to figure out num spaces. All we wanna do is we wanna move this on to the other side, so n minus num symbols. And just like that, we have an equation for our num spaces. So we wanna declare it as an int, it's also another integer, and it's gonna be n minus num symbols. So now if we print out, let's say num spaces plus num symbols, we should see uh, what we see up here. So let's just double check and make sure that we're doing it correctly. Cool, so we start off with five spaces and one symbol, and at the very end, we have no more spaces and they're all symbols. Okay, so from here, we have to actually get to uh, printing uh, a step. So we're gonna do that with, with you know, even more for loops. So the first thing that we wanna do is we're gonna print out, print out the spaces. So from here, we have for int i, how many spaces do we wanna print out? Num spaces. So for int i equals zero, i less than num spaces, i plus plus. This loop in here, we know will run for num spaces amount of time. And all we wanna do here is we wanna print um, our space, that's it. Now we wanna watch out here because we don't actually wanna print a line. So this, you know, this is shorthand for print a line. We just want to print a character, you know, without ending this off as a line. So we'll print out this single space character and that'll prevent us from moving on to the next line before we're ready. Okay, so we print out the spaces and now we wanna print out the symbols. So very similar, you know, you can, in fact, you can just even copy it. And then here we want to, instead of num spaces, change this to num symbols. And then instead of a space, we wanna print out the hash sign. And at the end here, 
uh, we haven't actually printed out a new line. So you can see if we don't add, you know, print a new line at the very end, it's all going to become a, a single line because we never instructed uh, the computer to, you know, break off, start a new line. So the way that we can do this here is we can just do, oh, there we go. You can just do an empty call to print a new line. And then with that, we should be able to, to construct our, our staircase. All right, there it is, and we'll submit code. So really, this is just a practice of, of knowing how to use your for loops. Um, maybe something new you learned here is print versus print a line. Um, but yes, that's it, and I'll see you on the next one.